Evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Icon Show. I'm your host, Jemo. With me, what's up, brother? Oh, look at that love! First time ever, Icon Show. Jemo and I are in the same building. Yes, same room. I like this. We've just swapped DNA. Uh, I didn't. I, like I didn't sign up for that, but I assumed it was happening. It is 93 degrees here in Chicago, Illinois. It is humid. The air conditioner is in the other room. And if you can tell by the sheen on my forehead, it's hot. We got comments. So this is going to be a weird sociological experiment because uh, we usually divvy up duties. Um, Gemma was really good at the con the comments. I usually do the uh, extracurricular <laughs> stuff with the uh, PowerPoints and this such. This is great seeing you do this. But what do I on do this it? side versus the, the screen side of it. <laughs> You're just going to stare at me? <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. I, I can do this every time. Every time. All right, I'm going through the comments. Yeah. Demo, do your spiel while I do the comments. Wendy, hello. And, and Ross Toronto. Dave is there. Mm -hmm. Dave again. Hello, everybody. Go down, gal. We'll get to all the comments later on, too. But, um, we got a really fun show tonight. I'm very surprised that we were able to secure this legendary person that we have with us this evening. Yeah, um, it, It's truly an honor. And, and code word is the safe words canary, Bob. Introducing Mr. Bob Harris, everybody. All right. It's not really a safe word if you- Canary! <laughs> yeah. Hi there, right. how are you? Gemma, Philip, how are you? Thanks so much for having me on. I'm so happy to be here. And it's like, like I'm hearing your temperature. I'm going, child, please. It's like Texas. We're at, we're at like 105 and 50% humidity. And I just came from Tucson, Arizona, where it was 110 oh, every day. So, uh, so get over yourselves, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Fair two enough. words, air conditioning. Modern conveniences are wonderful. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I like to complain. I'm sorry, Bob. I know. You, you and my mom. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Welcome you to the show. I'm coming out firing shots right off the get -go. Oh, I love it. I love it. And and Bob, if, if you get a chance, just call Philip Phil once at some point in this during this broadcast. I feel like that's like the danger zone. Mm. <laughs> we'll see, sir. We'll see. <laughs> but no, thank you so so much for coming on, Bob. Thanks um, for having me, man. I do have one surprise for you because uh, uh, Brian can't join us this evening again because he's working. So, Bob, we're actually looking for a replacement for Brian. So, if you want to throw your name in the hat too, um, this this could be your audition. Where's the hat? <laughs> it's, I have a very weak arm, but I'll try. Back in Tucson. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you that. <laughs> so, that was the sombrero uh, I left there. <laughs> the sunshade right. is necessary. <laughs> no, nonetheless, Bob. Here's your surprise. This is our surprise guest for the evening, your bestie. Ah, Wendy Early is here. I Hello, should, bestie. I should have known. As soon as he said a surprise, I did not hook the two and two together uh, because oh, I'm really man. bad at math. This is and great. Wendy, Hi, is bestie. So nice oh, I'm so glad I got to come on the show. I'm so, I should have known from the from the promo. I, I should have seen it coming. I'm so we had to keep it. this secret. I had to tell everyone, don't say anything. I've told everyone that I was going to be here, though. Very good. E everyone kept it totally secret. No one has let the cat out of the bag except my cat. He's meowing at me now. Well, I'll tell uh, you what. Gemma texted me the other night, and he's like, hey, can you give me a call? And I'm like, okay, you know, it's kind of weird, but okay, you know, it's just dinner time, whatever. So I finish and I call him. He's like, hey, Brian can't make it. And I'm like, oh, what are you, what are you saying? What yeah. are you saying? And he's like, do you want to come on the show with your bestie? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. Outstanding oh, effort. Outstanding effort. I mean, 
like I, you know, like we're two weeks out from Canton. So uh, I know. Gonna so now you're going to know who I am. I was going to try and sneak up on you in Canton. No and it's not going to happen now. You can only do it like this uh, with, a, with an ambush attack. <laughs> I'm six feet tall. I can't sneak up anywhere. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Matt, yeah, thanks for coming and joining us. This is fantastic, you guys. Yes. This is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I can't wait. Um, thank you again, Wendy and Bob, for joining us this evening. Um, I, I say we just get right into it, right? Let's sure. go ahead and start our draft of 80s movies. And Philip has pulled up a random draft simulator thing that we conducted earlier. And who is our first pick of the evening, sir? Um what are you Hold doing? Where's the you gotta share the screen, right? Well, I don't know what you're doing. This is, I've never seen this. Uh, how do I do that? <laughs> so I I ran I ran us through a uh, our names through a random list. What do I do? Slides? Share screen. Yeah. Uh, window. window. There you go. There it is. And and this is the order. If you all can see. Um, Wendy, you're drafting first. Bob, you're second. Then you're third. I am pulling up the rear. We're going to do a snake draft. We're drafting movies from the 1980s. I feel like we're all of a specific generation where that is relevant to us. Um, More I, relevant to some than others. <laughs> <laughs> referring to myself. Okay. All right. I both. was in my prime in the 80s. I, we, was, yeah. we can hear more <laughs> about that uh, as we go through the movies and why they were important to you. Um, and, uh, you know, I we shared a list of the 100 highest grossing movies of the 80s as just like a template to kind of uh, a North Star to guide us through this journey. I have a question. Yeah. So there's one particular movie I didn't pick from the list, though, but it was made in the 80s. Is that valid? I don't care. Okay. Do you care? I have a number of movies. I have a number of movies on my list and not on that list. All right. All yeah. Right. I, this, I, I mean, we good. said it's an 80s movie draft. That was just the highest yeah. gross. I feel like I should call yeah, like, I went by the right. list. I played Bill, by the Bill. rules. But Bill. so you know what? I get to go first anyways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what did you do, Wendy? Ladies first, go ahead and kick this thing off for us here. Well, in case you can't tell, okay, I have to say, I was in high school when, during the 80s, okay? I graduated in 1984. I'm not ashamed. So, this was a big thing. Top Gun. That is my 1.01 pick. Wow, okay. I like, freaking love it. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. <laughs> no, Wendy, how do, you, how do you like the remake of it? You know what? I thought it was pretty good. I really did. Was it, you know, Oscar winning? Probably not, you know, worthy, but it was but, entertaining. I liked it. It's safe to assume that you prefer the first. The original. Oh, absolutely. Oh, just because, you know, of when I saw that it was, you know, I was living that life. Well, okay, I wasn't hanging out with Tom Cruise or anything, but you know, it was just part of my genre and and when I was growing up and that was the thing, man, everybody wanted to go see Top Gun. Yeah. Huge movie. What the and good good choice. Wendy. Thank you. Thank well, it's, you. it's a good start to an 80s movie draft is Top Gun. What do you think of the soundtrack cuz I feel like that's pretty uh, Oh, that's come on, it's legendary. Yeah. 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 Not what, as legendary as my bestie or anything, but it's pretty good. Thing. I mean, okay, that'll is, be a common theme. It's a really high bar. I mean, <laughs> all right, good pick. So so far we have Top, Top Gun, Gun one one, and uh, oh man, I have a lot to say about Top Gun, but we've got a show to do. So <laughs> well, no, I want to hear. I want to hear the thoughts. I right, give me the Top Gun thoughts. I mean, yeah. Uh, what uh, What do you think about the volleyball scene? <laughs> it's hot <laughs> because that's 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 aged really interestingly to me. I, I, it's it's like a beer commercial. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, Tom Cruise giving high fives. I don't, it's like he's. Oh yes! Oh my God! Yes! He's he's a he's an alien. He's a weird he's a weird man. He still I does all him. of his own stunts. Come on, he's it's amazing. I love. <laughs> Thank him. you. Love him. I just saw the new Mission Impossible, and he. Oh, I want to go. Is it good? It's insane. It's just I like told you. It's it's out of this world. I'm like this guy's like the age of like my oldest uncle, and he's like 
driving motorcycles. Money will do that for you, Philip. Yeah, apparently in Scientology. All right, who's up? I want to feel. Uh, I want to like say you just called me your oldest uncle because I. I don't know. I might be older than Tom Cruise. <laughs> very close. Very close. He's he, he wears it better than I. It, you look like you could do some stunts, Bob. Come on. Oh, I can do some stunts. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> nice. All right, we're. Uh, at, where does this put us? Uh, Bob is up next. Bob is up next. <laughs> So I feel like there's only one real choice here that I can make with the first overall pick. Uh, it seems like there's only one because it's in my name. It's in, you know, everything I do is centered on football, Die Hard. So I'll go with Die Hard, the best Christmas movie ever. You can go ahead. Go ahead. Come Rusty, at me with that was on my list. Come, you come you sniped me. Come oh, after me with the God. Christmas movie talk. I'm glad I got a good snipe in. That was my first uh, my first goal. But I mean, I don't know how I could come into a 80s movie draft and not pick, you know, not break out with a yippee kaye and get busy with it. Who hasn't said that in their lifetime? Yippee kaye, motherfucker. Everybody, Everybody says that. Says Most mornings I say that. <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> Bob, you son of a gun. That was. That was the one I was looking for for my first pick, but I knew at four that might not be possible. But well, I, I, felt, I, I felt like if I didn't get the first pick overall, someone was going to try and just totally snipe me. Because I, and I understand the Top Gun love. It's totally understandable. Tom Cruise, super hot, the volleyball scene, the need for speed, all that stuff. It's, it makes perfect sense. But, you know, the, the Die Hard is kind of the brand for me, and I didn't want to, you know, I don't like to go against the brand. And also, it is a fantastic film. I don't know how, you know, I feel like I'm the Hans Gruber of the fantasy football world as it is, so uh so that it, it was ideal i told you it was on my list it was on there bestie all right all right two great minds think like that's bad those are two tough things right there yeah yeah i'm gonna have to regroup a little bit but Gemma, you're up i am i am i'm gonna go ahead um and say the karate kid nice i think pretty good the storyline of it um you know you get you get this young kid uh, without a dad, he's got what a little brother or sister or something, right? And then his mom, they move out from New, uh, New York out to California, and the rest is history. You know, he gets picked on. He's a little nerdy kid from the East Coast, and, and he wins this girl, and, and it's a happy ending at the end. So now I get to watch you do your thing while you talk. What thing? thing? Just you talking yeah, about that's what I'm doing right, right now. Here. That's, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> this is surreal. <laughs> that's it. And how, Jemo, you have to say, wax on, wax off. Come yeah. on, that's iconic. I love it. Good awesome. pick. Definitely, definitely. I love the karate kid, love the story. And uh, that say, I, the, her, the actress in that movie, uh, her name slips my mind. She was also in Adventures in Babysitting, which I think Elizabeth Shue yes. yep. would be an honorable mention on this list. Chef's Kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth Shue. Adventures. One of the great actresses of our era. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> what is she up to nowadays? She was in, uh, what was that show on Amazon about superheroes who are like sociopaths who like destroy, like blow up people's heads and stuff? Anyone? Anyone? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't watch that show. <laughs> yeah. I but I know it's I don't either. either. You're my bestie. Well, I don't watch it. The on the uh, it'll come to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's she's been working. That's all. That's the, yeah. I mean, you know, she, this is, clearly falls into the category of an age appropriate hottie. I'm allowed to you know say whatever I want about you know, sure. Elizabeth Shue, so I will. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Now, yeah. This, what do you think about the Cobra Kai, Jemma? The Netflix the TV show. show yeah. It was okay. And when it started out, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was something new and fresh. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's a younger generation. But um, <clears throat> everything got very dull because it was like, it was very repetitive. Everything was the same thing. It was just regurgitating. By the way, everyone, everyone in the chat knows what that show is. It's the boys. And, and I know that too because Mike Dempsey talks about it endlessly on the Diehards. Right on football on Sirius XM Fan Sports Radio, and and he watches every show though. Bo in the house, great group in the chat by the Crazy. way. Hello, friends. Appreciate y'all. You're, you're lagging on the chat. Here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No. This is not the normal uh, delineation of responsibility. <laughs> it's, it's I'm way off off my game here. Yeah. I think, the 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 I think you're still reeling from the kiss. 
if the show was called The Boys with Elizabeth Shue. Oh, are you, you going to do the... I'm going to take control the here The draft a board, too? No, no. I'm just going to do this. So, Bob, I forgot to do this to you earlier. Um, I'm going to give you the screen. I'll, you, you have the floor for the next minute or so. Plug away. I may have taken an edible or two oh, prior to the show. So I knew it. I knew it. Well, I thought that was like mandatory. I was told that I had to take at least two. So, um, I, yeah. <laughs> so, um, plugging. I want to plug this show. It's fantastic. Jim of the Icon is great. Folks, great. Uh, Wendy, I, I love this program. Um, and I'm happy to be here. Also, you find me at Football Diehard on Twitter, and uh, and everything called Football Diehards is also things that I do as well. I was not in the movie Die Hard, but if they had given me that opportunity, I would have been. And maybe my Twitter handle would be just Die Hard. There you go. Well, what I do? Hey, here we are. What I do? Oh, but there we are. You're We're getting back. good at this. I'm, yeah. I am getting good at this. So. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you. I should have done Thank that. Thank you. That was my fault. I'm sorry. I've been around a long time. I don't know how much plugging I need. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm up. Uh, I've had to re rearrange my strategy in my head here because uh, wendy and i crushed you the dynamic duo came in wow winging amen it's true it's true but um here's where i'm going oh my god yeah this is it i had oh wow oh, I had, that's high on my list Super i had high. several eddie murphy movies on Me my too. list um but this is the one that I saw earliest and I saw most often as a kid. Like, I, I love Beverly Hills Cop. I love, uh, what else did I have on here? Oh, oh Coming to America. Mm. Oh, I have a number of those. Hey, this is like a regular draft. Don't say things that might get drafted. <laughs> Come on. We're all kids of the 80s. We've seen those Eddie Murphy movies. But Trading Places for me was the one that resonated the most, not just because of what Jamie Lee Curtis did earlier. Right. Well, I believe that was the uh, mantra. Uh, look, if you keep taking my picks, I won't be able to buy my kid the uh, G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the Kung Fu grip, exactly. <laughs> but, man, Eddie Murphy was like 25 or something when this movie came out. This guy was like red hot. He was unbelievable. He was like the most famous person in America. And these movies are unbelievable. <laughs> I love it. And I, and that movie's hilarious and that's my pick. I agree. That's a totally great pick. I mean, yeah. you're sitting here. I felt like I came out and Wendy and I teamed up to crush you, and then you come back swinging hard. We'll see what you get for that. Yeah, you know well, what, though? I mean, all the movies that were on this list, I mean, not all of them, but most of them were like, they're all really good movies from the 80s. It's yeah. hard to pick just four. That was the hard part. So I narrowed it mind up down and crossed them off, crossed them off, crossed them off. It was just, it was, at the end of the day, I had like literally all the Eddie Murphy movies in my top like 10. They're so good. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh man. All right. Well, back to you then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me, let me get into this. Um, since I have a great comedy, um, I'm going to go with one of the best sequels. Oh boy. Spell much. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't know what you're writing. Oh, uh, this is. Are you all right, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> no. He got it. He did it. I did it. You knew it was coming. <laughs> well done. Alien. Well played. Well Alien. played. I'm going with James James Cameron's amazing sequel of the great 1979, not in the 80s movie, Alien by mm. Scott. Mm. One of the best action movies I've ever seen. That's pretty good. Featuring uh, Sigourney Weaver as the most badass, ass-kicking heroine. I, I, I don't know. Who Game is. over, man. Game <laughs> over. Paxton as the most panicky, like, Marine in the world <laughs> in space being attacked by aliens. What a good time. And this, like, set the stage for, like, wow, sometimes the sequel is better than the original. Man, but that thing coming out of the stomach, the thing that pops out of the stomach on that movie, that that was terrible. I hated that. When I was, you know, when that movie first came out. The original, yes. Caught us all off guard. I think it caught I, all I, them off guard. They didn't tell them, did they? I, they don't know. I don't know. None of the backstory, but yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Good pick, Philip, on the turn there. I'm impressed. Philip's coming back hard. 
I don't care for that pick at all. <laughs> that that makes me feel good because I think Gemma has terrible taste. I know. <laughs> Gemma does. I mean, so far it's like I'm going, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if, Gemma if Mitchell, went way overboard on the edibles. <laughs> if Micho Black were, were to be able on this list, it would be number one. Micho Black. If if Micho Black had come out in the '80s, yes. then then wow, what have you have what you ever a beautiful seen world. Micho Black? Bob, I have not seen this. Definitely, it's a it's a must watch. Please, I, me know I've taught my list. Brad Pitt and uh, Claire Forlani, great movie. Nobody else likes it. I enjoy it. Hmm. I got an excellent first choice, Philip, from the person whose avatar is Dan Aykroyd <laughs> from the movie Trading Places, which was my first choice. So that's a kind of a gimme. That's Blake. Yeah, yeah, that's Blake. That's Blake. Blake, Blake, you got a possible Aussie movie. Bo Ozzy movie in the in the top 100 here. I'm curious oh, to see if that's going to come out. If y'all know what I'm talking about, yeah, a very famous so. movie about a guy. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Anyone? <laughs> Philip? Are, are, you, are you on the gummies too or something? Oh, this I is, wish. We I mean, got the kiss from Gemma earlier. I'm like left him be bottled. here in Chicago. He's still, he's still dumbstruck by the kiss. <laughs> I, I I am loving it here. I, I brought uh, Philip and his lovely wife a uh, pre-rolled joint. I don't think that either of them are going to partake in it, though. What, Wait, you yeah. a joint? Yeah. I, you, I thought you, <laughs> no, I brought some gummies and uh, like a pre-rolled joint. It's That's like for a us. Really nice sativa. It's for you guys. Was Reefer Madness an '80s movie? <laughs> <laughs> I get confused. Time is lost on me. I think so. Okay. It's it's, it's legal, legal, I think in what 48 states. Yes, 48, 50, 60, 90s, 80s. Whatever. Yeah. Maybe a couple of countries here and there too, but all right. <laughs> who's uh? Let's see our next? draft board here. We got. Uh, oh, it's me. You're mm -hmm. you're up, buddy. Ooh, this was a tough oh, one. A... This was a tough one. I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Breakfast Club. Interesting, oh, yeah. fantastic uh, movie. Um, good movie. A lot of I, I feel that a lot of, like this generation now would find that movie really dull and boring because it's just basically. Based you know what? Hey, Gemma. Yeah. My daughter. My daughter. She's gonna be twenty five this weekend. Actually, she uh, her birthday is Saturday. Happy birthday, Megan. Um, Happy birthday, you Megan. You know what? That is one of her very favorite movies. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. So ho hopefully, there's mm -hmm. still there, there's hope for the future. There's hope. There's hope. Hope for the future then, but yeah, well, I she think, gets it from her cool mom. Who do you see to? Um, probably what's his name? You're gonna what's say Judd name? Nelson, yeah, right? the bad Nelson. boy. Yeah, yeah. I with the cigarette so. burns. And I mean, I think I don't think you can give yourself that. I mean, you someone else has to say that about you. You can't say that about yourself. <laughs> I mean, I named myself the icon. I mean, what? Oh, that's true. Fair point. True. <laughs> oh, sorry. no, this <laughs> thing moves. <laughs> Yeah, but I've uh, seen the the <laughs> state of my my home studio is not as uh, illustrious as you. No, definitely not. But it's I really felt like you were more along the lines of the Anthony Michael Hall character, Philip. That was just <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, the, the dangerous yeah. nerd. That's Gemma. Yeah, that is me. No, that's wow. you, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling me Philip, though. This I, I just did the Phil once because I was challenged. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Um, Molly Ringwald, though, I mean, what that was that was my crush. I really, yeah, yeah. really liked her. And she, like, I follow her on the Instagram, Philip. Looks amazing. The Instagram. Like, kudos to her. Yeah. Both of you have aged well. I'm also on the Instagram at Football Die Hard. I have aged well, also. Not as well as Molly Ringwald, but I'm putting effort into it. I've got some lotions and skincare and things like that. I'm working on. <laughs> got some vitamins. I, I see Biden, it for sure. Popped in the chat here, and hello, wife. Miss you, miss the kids. She's Love keeping you. an eye on. Oh, she just had a birthday too, right? Yesterday, my birth, my daughter's birthday is this Friday. Wow, nice! Wow. Happy birthday! Yeah, it's happy all, birthday! Yeah, a lot of a lot of July birthdays. When's my birthday, Philip? December thirteenth. When's my birthday, motherfucker? August fifteenth. <laughs> all right, yeah, we all thirteenth. Yeah, mine's November the thirteenth. Okay, I'm going to need to remember that, Bestie. Nice Mine's enough. June 28th. June 28th. Right, fair enough, fair enough. And recorded here on YouTube. Not you like <laughs> always reference it if you're confused at the 24 minute mark. You're, you're so not enough. a Sagittarius, are you, Bob? No, I'm no. a Scorpio. Scorpio. 
Scorpio. Okay. I'm told that's much better than all the rest of them. Is it really? I'm no, I have no idea. I just uh, made I that up. I, uh, I yeah, made I, that up. You sources Scorp tell me. I'm my own sources. You, Scorp you Scorpios are nice. I think the Sagittarius and Scorpios get along very well. Now, now the people born in June, though, I don't know about. Nah, hey, I have June. great faith in people born in June. <laughs> that's because your bestie's in June. Exactly. Rachel. Thank you. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> hey, Rachel. And hello to everybody in the chat. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention. No, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not doing Oh, JC. Part. Look, JC and I, our birthdays are only a week apart. JC, yeah. sorry I haven't drafted yet. If it's on me, I've, I've got time. So much birthday love. Yeah. Bob, are you prepared for your round two <laughs> pick? Because I feel like. If the next James Cameron movie is coming. He told us, he warned us what was coming in 1984 uh, right. when he made the Terminator. And uh, here we are uh, setting the stage with AI ready to take over the world. And soon Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger will be wandering the streets uh, telling people he'll be back and, and murdering them. The Terminator. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Yeah. The I, feel like, I feel like I've picked a lane here and it's like more action adventure than the rest. I... I yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going yeah. the action adventure route. Yeah. That, that's you, how you got some two heavy hitters there. So it, I do have two heavy hitters, huge movies, huge films, yeah. kind of topical. One based on me, Die Hard. One based on AI, also me, The Terminator. It's a I like great, it. You son of a gun. It's going it's like going a little old school when it was uh, great to draft running back, running back. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays we can't do that too much in any sort of format. The movie holds up. I don't know when the last time you saw it, Bob. Well, it holds up extremely well. It's incredible. It's, it doesn't look aged at all. Nope. Maybe when he's like, yeah, I'm all out. Some of old. that stuff, but some of the effects in, in all these films, you know, a little bit dated, but it, but it does. I was surprised. I watched it recently too. Him on top of the car, like <laughs> punching through the, the hood. I was like, this. Everything about that movie, his arrival, you know, I mean, just, you know, it was so. It was such a unique character at the time. We had not seen any Terminators before. And uh, it, he was just such a total badass. And, and you know, I mean, I think the, you know, John Connors, I mean, he's still playing. Oh, no, that's James, his brother. Uh, still playing football to this day uh, and being drafted by me quite often. There you go. Sorry. There you go. Where, where are you taking him at? Like, uh, way about a round earlier than everyone else. Okay, so seven ish. Maybe? Right in there. I'll I'll go ahead. I'll take him six, but I'm hoping to get him seven. I mean, just yeah. running back two territory for me. For sure, for sure. Very nice. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Thank you. So, All right, Wendy, well, light uh, it up. Wendy, light it up. Okay. So this demo's right here. I can just do this to him. <laughs> Don't hurt him. <laughs> he can't hurt this guy. <laughs> He's a hundred pounds of man with meat. Okay, so. So I have to tell you guys, the last time I was on the show, I couldn't see the comments because I had sunglasses on. So I have to show you what I did. So these are sunglasses too, but they're called like um, eye or pair eyewear. And the, the little things like they come off. Oh, wow. Okay. They're magnetic. Wow. So check this out. Like, oh, I'm going to go to a Blackhawks game. So I'm going to put my Blackhawks ones on. They got little black. This is Blackhawks on them. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to go to a Cubs game. I'm going to put my Cubs ones on. Look, isn't that amazing? I have like one glasses and that's like. That's I mean, it. I just wear readers. I just wear readers. Okay. But what I also got, this is my last one. And I think Bob will appreciate this. These I had made and they say Dallas Cowboys for when I get to meet um, Des Bryant ah. at the expo. <laughs> I have a jersey I want him to sign, and I'm going to be wearing my Dallas Cowboys glasses. <clears throat> That'll light it up. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, All I'm, right. So. Uh, Dez is, like, totally investing in the whole thing, man. He's. I'm excited. Nuts. I really am. I, I, I just I can't wait for it. All right. So I'm going to go with, oh, Captain, my Captain, Dead Poets Society. Somebody I was going to do it. Yeah, it, it, that I was afraid it wouldn't get back to me, although I am on the turn. But I mean, come on, that is just such a great movie. You can't go wrong with that. It's, uh, I think we lost somebody. Where'd they go? I don't even want to know if I want to know. What him. I think doing. Philip That's got horrifying. to him. Oh hey, well, God. I get to know my bestie a little bit better. Well, let me tell you about this film. 
was just like, it had some like great budding talents in it who turned out to be big mega stars. I mean, what oh, else? Oh, yeah. And, and Robin Williams. And I mean, my goodness. I mean, just, I don't know. Like I said, I know, I'm not sure how old you are, but I think we're pretty close to the same age. Uh, fairly, fairly in the. I don't, I mean, I just had a birthday and I was on this show, so everybody knows I'm 57. Yeah, so you, 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 you got a little catching up to do. Okay, so but we're we're close. But I mean, that's just such a, a movie that even my daughter again. That's a movie that I watched with her, and she, and that wasn't that long ago, maybe a couple years ago, and she just she loved it, absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's it's really well done, well written, all the things you want it to be, and of course, you know, great, fantastic cast. Uh, so yeah, and led by Robin Williams, of course. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, you really made my day that one time. Okay. We were in the FCE chat and somebody, it was Royal because I know oh, Royal's man. probably in here somewhere. Royal's like, man, Wendy, you're awesome. I don't even know why he said it just because I'm awesome, I guess. And Bob pops on and he goes, that's my bestie. And I'm like, I knew it. I knew if I said it enough times. <laughs> oh, wait, Gemma's calling me. <laughs> I'm paying attention out there when I'm getting, uh, when I'm what getting to you. that. What happened? Oh, like his entire house? <laughs> his whole house went out of power. <laughs> I have an entire list, damn it. <laughs> oh, it just came back on? Yeah, we're still talking. We're just talking. I have Thank another pick to this. make. We're holding down do the pick. fort. We're holding down the fort. You guys get back together. Quit the kissing. Get back okay. online. <laughs> he said, quit kissing and get back on the, the program, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. So apparently, everyone, Philip's entire house lost power. Well, I feel like this is our opportunity to collude against them and make sure well, they get Well, yeah, that's true. Movies. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a pretty good list over here, but you know how that goes when you draft. It, it goes up the window. I have a great list. So the problem with this draft, and a lot of drafts is, you know, you do the shortened versions of draft. My list far goes is far greater uh, than than the draft itself, and I feel like I'll be leaving off fantastic movies that I <laughs> totally love. I've done some other drafts like this, like a, uh, a musician draft, and, like, I go in with a total strategy. I did one on Sirius with, uh, you know, some – pretty heavy hitters in the music world. And I went in and built a thrash band. And I mean, my list is like 80 names long and it's like a six round draft. Mm -hmm. You're going, Damn, yeah. how can I get four guys in one? <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> That's just not right. Hey, you got Metallica coming up, don't you? I do. I'll be there the uh, 18th and the 20th. We August. have to wait a whole nother year. I've had uh, tickets for like six months and it's not till August of 2024. <laughs> Admire the way they're doing it, though. They're kind of like uh, you know doing a couple shows, and then they'll take a week off, or they'll do a couple a couple cities, then take yeah. a week or two off that regenerate. I guess that works for me. I'll see what the set. I'm excited to see what the set list is. Uh, I don't take a lot of days off from work, but for that, I'll take a day off. That's of awesome. Work. You and, deserve that. You're you're like working all the time, dude. I love working. Uh, it's my favorite thing. By the way, since we're waiting for them, I will plug some things. Hey, yeah. I was hey. going to plug something while we were waiting for you. Uh, it's what? magazine what? season. It's magazine season. They're behind me. The Fantasy Football Pro Forecast, the 34th edition. It's a really good issue this year. Some great writers, some great contributors. We do a lot of evergreen kind of content. So you get the magazine and, you know, it's not like totally out of date. But it is out of date because it's magazine. It's printed and, and it's like a snapshot in time. So what? No big deal. We have like a magazine code that you put into the website that gives you access to our premium content. So anything that you like got left out of the magazine, you totally catch on in like five minutes with the footballdiehards.com website. You can go there now, promo code diehards, 15% discount on the magazines on every damn thing you might want there. Uh, and the, the Football Diehards magazine as well. Great, great, great uh, uh, cast of contributors. Names you will know uh, doing great work. So appreciate that. So there you have it. There I plug something. So there. <laughs> I should have done it while you guys were gone. <laughs> well, right. what did no, you we were getting to know each other, bestie. Well, we were having a good time. I mean, we, I think we already do know each other. Come on. <laughs> so look behind the curtain. The power has gone out twice since Kevin has been here. I'm not blaming him, but like it's weird because it hasn't happened. Uh, In like years? <laughs> Uh, but he's here, and the power's gone out twice. We've had some weird storms and like <laughs> shit going on here. But uh, 
thank you for your patience. Well, welcome back. Thank very you. patient people. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. This so I don't know. Did you guys get to hear my? I, I picked Dead Poets Society. Oh, okay. okay. No, I didn't get no. to hear that. And then I'm on the turn, so and we I discussed it. Like, did a great critical review of it from start to finish, and uh, probably <laughs> yeah. spouted many lines. So What's sorry, you guys missed out. Oh, the draft went away. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> Oh, there it is. All right. But we, we're missing everybody. You need to repopulate that, young man. Way to go, Phil. Oh, I didn't <laughs> save it. And then my power went out. And the, You don't have auto save on? No, I don't have oh. auto save on. Oh, man. All right. So I'll I'll, I'll clean up the wreckage. But uh, what what did you do? When did you, you drafted? Well, I had Top Gun. No, no, my... no. Don't start. Oh, right me. now? Uh, yeah, Dead so, Poet Society. Dead Poet Society. All right, I'll, I'll, the order is not right anymore, Philip. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Wendy's supposed to be first. Uh, oh fuck! I didn't. Say, <laughs> I, I, I think we can go off of memory moving forward. Let's just okay. let's just go. Yeah. <laughs> we know the order. Draft board. When you've got these dynamic individuals in front of you who are just like doing great stuff, right? Am I wrong? All right, let's go. Yes, All so right. Ah, hey! Done. That's amazing. Let's go. I remember. All right, so I would say my next one, so I'm on the turn, right? I'm going to go with Beetlejuice. Okay. Beetlejuice. I mean, that's that's another movie that, you know, I, I thought of my family because I could just remember us watching Beetlejuice. I mean, it had the, it started a different fashion and I mean, it was just, it was just crazy. I mean, you hadn't seen a lot of stuff like that. You know, come on, Michael Keaton, the hair, the eyes, you know? Yeah, I love Beetlejuice. I, I'm not yeah. a big fan of, of that guy's movies. It's a little weird. It's you know, I'm not, I'm not a big Michael Keaton fan either, but I do like that movie. He was did, great in Jackie did do, Brown. Did he do Edward Scissorhands? He did. I, that's the only one I think I like from. It's because he got Johnny Depp yeah. in it, and he <laughs> was a little man crush on I got Johnny, for Johnny Depp. Depp. Am I wrong? You all know. <laughs> Is it true? I, I mean, Claire Forlani and Johnny Depp are coming to the Rainbow Room, Philip, for my party. Oh, look at Kelly is here. Hello, Kelly. Yeah. yeah. Kelly, good to see you. Kelly. It's a good crew in the comments. Uh, I apologize for my draft board that has been, like, reverted back to about 2 p.m. today. Mm -hmm. 2 p.m. draft board. <laughs> but uh, hey, that's what happens when your power goes out, man. Yeah, and we're back though. Yeah, we're back. Um, so th this is our last round. I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I think it's our last round. I think so too. I was already canary, canary, canary. canary. I was already <laughs> complaining that there weren't enough rounds to get all my movies in, so I'm gonna like pick seven movies with my next pick. <laughs> No, I mean, there's no rules here, Bob. Do whatever you want. It's fine. It's right. fine. So who went first? I'm, I'm doing this analog <laughs> Wendy. here. Wendy. Wendy went Hi, with Bob. Top Gun. Top Gun. Nice. And then Die Bob Hard. went with, uh, oh, Jesus, he went with Die Hard. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Philip went with Trading Places. Great pick, by the way. Gemmo, it was not so Karate good. Kid. I don't know. Karate Kid. Karate Kid. What did you do next, so Gemmo? Underrated. Uh, what did I do next? The Pretty Breakfast. in Pink. Oh, no, Breakfast okay. Club. Uh, and you, you thought you were Judd Nelson. I thought they were the same movie. Pretty in Pink and Breakfast Club were like, I don't know. They oh. confused me. I'm confounded by all those. They are not the same movie. Are you sure? Yes. They're, they're not. And then what did I do? What did I do? I don't know. What did you do? Oh, aliens. 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 I don't care for that one. That's fine. Uh, yeah. It makes me happy. Then Bob yeah. went with the uh, Terminator. Of course, you're trading space. Philip, not yeah, good at keeping with, his uh, power on, but great at drafting movies. Dead poets, <laughs> and then what was your Beetlejuice? Be oh, nice. don't say it three times. No, you already oh, said it twice. I know. All right, so Bob, you're back. We got an analog version of this. <laughs> Trust me, this is this is legit. General gets to see the. the oh, I can't person. see anything. <laughs> no, I can't read the so, scene. This is not I feel like this, like they're like I have way more movies than I have rounds, and it's like it's crushing me. I'm gonna go with uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Raging Bull. Uh, oh Jesus Nero, Christ, uh, that is Martin huge, Martin, man. Scorsese, yeah, a movie, fantastic movie. Joe Pesci um, just chronicles the life of Jake LaMotta and some amazing fight sequences. 
uh, and just, just and horrible people. You you love the horrible people in the films, right? Uh, so it was great stuff. I loved it. That, I mean, it's one of the yeah, it's the Breakfast I've Club win, Kelly. Uh, I didn't even. Uh, I was afraid. I thought that came out like in '79, and I was. I didn't know, but that you were brave enough to make the pick. That's a hell of a movie. What, Gemma, you want to do something? No, <laughs> just you can remove that one. It's been up there for a while. <laughs> That's a good time. Okay, I oh, I st I also do have a list of movies I I want to kind of go over. As I well. think they're all probably bad. Based no, on they're, all, they're, they're all great. great. It, Bob, if you have time, if you want to just rattle yours off, too, I'll then... rattle off the whole damn list of that I have. My whole cheat sheet sitting here waiting. I mean, you know, Please. if that's what we're doing, I mean, Scarface, uh, yeah. oh, Raiders uh, of the Lost Ark, yeah, uh, yeah the, the, the original. I mean, it was very good. Uh, the Untouchables, Forty Eight Hours, one of the yeah. great buddy movies, another Eddie yeah. Murphy, a uh, Full Metal Jacket and Platoon. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't Platoon. know how you. I don't know how you pick between those two. Um, and, and and like you know, if we're going comedy, I'll go with Stripes. I mean, I guess Forty Eight Hours is kind of comedy. Lethal Weapon is another one, and probably like the one that nobody else would watch. Uh, yes, Roadhouse would mm -hmm. should be on everyone's list. I love The Elephant Man. I thought it was such a good movie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, David Lynch. That's right. A movie. So good. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Eraserhead would be my pick. <laughs> Very good. That would also work. <laughs> the 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 young woman with the huge cheeks, right? Singing on the stage, stomping on like the little, I don't know, uh, what do we call them? Unborn babies. I guess that's what you could call. <laughs> that's them. a weird movie. <laughs> very uh, strange movie. Uh, David Lynch, right. very strange so man. Bob, so Bob went with. A bunch of movies. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I mean, I, I picked one in particular. I went with Raging Bull, but I could have picked one. If we were going to like 30 rounds, I could have come up with 20 more. Yeah. You had, sure. You've got Die Hard, Terminator, and Raging Bull. I do. It's a very, uh, <clears throat> that's a, there's a lot of anger in there. Yeah, a lot of violence there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. always the quiet ones. <laughs> yeah. Wendy knows. All right. I'm up. Uh, no, no, you're not. Oh no! <laughs> See, this oh, is what this happens is when they turn on the air conditioner. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the power goes down. The screen freezes. He's going to be so disappointed. This is actually great stuff. I'm. I can't imagine he's going to oh. be disappointed when he watches it back. Hang on, he's calling. <laughs> Kelly and Phoenix, Die Hard is her favorite movie ever. Of course, it is Predator. It's okay, so movie. <laughs> I can tell you're like froze up. Roadhouse, don't feed anything after midnight. Gremlins, uh, Gremlins reference in there. Fantastic. Uh, our is down for okay, hours. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We're just in the chat, and we're talking with some of the people in the chat. I'm here working Take the chat. Time. I've done this before, kids. Bob's a professional. My best. Well, I wouldn't go that far. He knows what he's doing. He will lead the way. I've done this a couple of times. Um, so throw it All in right. the chat. Is throw it back out some more movies. Throw some more movies in the chat. Would love to hear what you guys like. Okay. Uh, which of All my right, movies call back were if your you favorites? Honey. Which of my movies okay, were your favorites? That's what I want to know. Uh, Wendy's movies were all fantastic. Uh Gemma's I'm so troubled. happy. Look at, I can actually read the chat. I'm so happy because I couldn't see it last time. And I was drinking on the show last time too. Uh, no, no four locos ever, ever again. It was terrible. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, that Day was on my list. Was that it? was on my list. Not on my list. And it probably should have been Princess Bride. I had, uh, we're not Footloose. Footloose. So I'm not a Footloose person. Oh, but that's iconic. I mean, not that Great I, music, you know, I have to be a fan, but it's pretty a, iconic. Dirty Dancing. Fun. Yeah, the, the, uh, Dirty Dancing, I don't think I've ever seen that film. Nobody puts baby in a corner. That's what I've been told, but I've not seen the film, so I can't verify this myself. Well, you can trust me. Who's oh, yours? Who's Great yours? Movie. That's Major a good Lee. one, Tracy. Great Princess Twister. Bride, Twister. Is Twister in the 80s? Not sure. I might have, have to look that one up. I have to ask uh, IMDB on that one here. I did have Platoon on my list, too. I saw you had that. Platoon is so good. But but honestly, if I had to pick between Platoon and uh, Full Metal Jacket, it'd be Full Metal Jacket, even though Platoon is arguably a better, just like a more quality movie. Yeah. Uh, the Stanley Kubrick, though, it's it's fantastic. Fucking love it. And, like, what about Field of Dreams? 
So it's baseball, and I don't do baseball things. I've not watched the entire movie yet because oh, it's like a grand thing. You no, know, you should. Just give I it know. a chance. So there are movies I have not seen that people find this amazing that I have not seen certain movies. Like I have never seen E.T. And and so it, we're at the point in the existence of E.T. where where it's hard not to have seen E.T., right? They're like and Forrest Gump also. You have I've to be going out of your way not to see You have movies. to try. You have to try. I have also Please, not seen I uh, know. Greece. I know you, Bestie. I have not seen Greece, and you know you're at the point. Oh where I- man, my mom took me to the movie theater to see Greece. That's that's a good memory. Mr. Scamper is breaking out the tango and cash. We got we got Ghostbusters, Turner and Hooch. Come on, Gridiron Gal. Nobody liked that. Well, okay, it was all right. I mean, the dog was good. I don't know. Uh, Tom, I don't know. I mean, this list Tom was Hanks pretty was good, awesome. but I mean, it's so hard. And I did like the stripes call. And I heard you say stripes. Yeah, stripes, uh, Sergeant. Yeah, yeah, so what was it? What was his name? Sergeant Hulka or something? Or something yeah, like that. That, was that was a good one. I don't know. Back to school. Some of the funny ones. I don't know. I, it was okay. Flash dance. That's kind of iconic. I mean, I'm evil term. So, so I did not see, uh, I've not seen Greek. And so here's what happens. People say, people say like, oh, you have to see that. And I say, oh, do I? <laughs> do what I? You said. now you're gonna make it a point not to watch it oh yes i've made many points not to watch those and, and i never will see them uh and i'll probably be missing out and i'll die an unhappy old sorry man but that's okay probably heading that way anyway <laughs> teen oh, wolf i love teen wolf I, honestly there's a lot of good movies coming into there Bill and oh, Ted's, Bill excellent, and Ted's adventure. excellent adventure. Uh, yeah. Yes, the first one was fantastic. I don't know if I watched the other ones. I think I did, and I don't remember them. So that's. I don't know. I got my list over here. Oh, coming to America. Oh, Officer and a Gentleman. My bully, my bully, my bully, my hey. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, I don't know. Three Men and a Baby. Good. That was on there. Three Men and a Baby was pretty good. Peach and Chong. Can't go wrong with that. So, St. Elmo's Fire is another one that I would not have seen. Gridiron Gal, I apologize for that. Uh, not really, but I'll pretend I'm sad. Uh, it's the, the what, what were they called? That little group of uh, actors at that era that I wanted nothing to do with. Um, oh, like, like all the ones Rob- in the Breakfast Club and the and all those movies that yeah, you know, like with Rob Lowe and all those, yeah, people. those people. Although yeah, Rob Lowe is a very attractive man, I'm not averse to that. He looks very good these days. Uh, as my fiance gives me the dirty looks when I'm one of hey, her crushes. Oh, they're back. I don't know that they are. I think he's killed Philip. <laughs> Gemma has killed Philip. I may have. I may have. I've taken over the entire. I'm show. glad I got to meet him. It's really cool. We got it back up. What is going on over there? No, there's like <laughs> it's so weird because like so Philip's got two little dogs here, Rose from Harlem, who everybody knows from her YouTube channel, and then Squanchy over here, who's just a menace and. Um, I guess doesn't like anybody. <laughs> but the first time that she's met me, or he's met me, he's we're, we're buds right off the bat. So I, I, it's a that, that's a cute mop. I'm very happy you, you need to handle. Um, <laughs> Steel Magnolias in the chat. There's a movie I like that movie actually. Mm. I'm not gonna. I thought that was a good movie. Steel Magnolias. Who Go was ahead. It? Go ahead. Question me, Philip. Go ahead. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I can't say. Uh, it but it feels uh, um, ah, the toxic oh, Avengers the Goonies. fantastic. The Goonies, the Goonies. Uh, my grandkids, one. my yeah. step grandkids here told me I had to pick yeah. Goonies and I told them to get away. <laughs> no chance, not picking so, Goonies. Didn't uh, Data remember Data? He he just won in uh, like some big award or something, didn't he? Who Data from the Goonies? I don't know. Well, I don't I don't know. know. No, okay, all right. Never no, no, short round from Indiana Jones and yeah, the Oh, Tim that guy. Steve okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supporting actor. Well, award. good for him. Spaceballs, fantastic movie. Mm. Everything everywhere all at once. Yeah. Yep. Spaceballs, so good. Oh Spaceballs my god. Spaceballs is great. The Schwartz. Oh my god, so good. May the Schwartz be with you. Yeah. So good. Uh, I I I feel like I didn't Darth miss helmet. in the last 10 minutes while I was in my basement. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds, all right. I don't know the land before time. Willow. Philip, is like Willow. the whole neighborhood going out or is it just your house? No, it's this guy. It's this Gemmo. <laughs> He's got bad juju. He's fucking up. He's fucking up the power grid for, I'm, I'm just for uh, the Northwest. Side. I, so Gridiron Gal keeps saying she's surrounded by assholes. Is this a movie reference or is this talking about us? <laughs> Both, yeah, I yeah. guess a little bit, yeah, yeah. 
That's oh. Tracy. I love her. Uh, She's going to be uh, at Canton. Y'all have missed out on the us uh, sharing the comments because we haven't had any power. I haven't read the right. comments. We're having a great time. Don't worry about uh, it. Good. Y'all are awesome. Wendy, Bob, thank you for holding shit together. Yeah, thank you. We got you guys. Our power keeps going out. Let's let's nail this thing. We're almost done. Um, like we finished 15 minutes ago. I don't know where you guys are. <laughs> I'm going with I'm going with my third pick. So far, I have trading places and aliens. I'm going with back to the motherfucking future. <laughs> a great pick there. Come on, that movie is fucking amazing. I think somebody Those hit the uh, somebody hit a couple gigawatts outside your door and knocked your power out. And then, but he goes home, and then his mom hits on him. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, that's fucking intense, dude. That movie exists forever oh my he, goodness he did that in like a mainstream hollywood movie and his mom was leah thompson it was like yeah she's hot so fair point that's uh that's a that's a fucking awesome movie and and also did you like the sequels though i love the sequel did you like michael j fox is a high school student and his best friend is they're like in their old, 40s this old <laughs> scientist dude with Long hair and a bald spot. And I'm like, that's that's a, this is so weird. Like, <laughs> you know, doc is, is fucking weird, man. But I'm I'm in I'm in on it. Like, yeah, I give me a friend like that now. Give me a friend like that in high school, in middle school, college. I don't care. Like, Back to the Future. Perfect. Philip is signing off. Jim, you're Europe. All right. So I'm just gonna list off a couple more here. I don't really have. Back to the Future was on my list. For. You should take and, some of Kelly and Phoenix's movies because hers are much better than yours. No, 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 no. This one, this one, this one's good too. You might like this one, Bob. Right. Rain Man. All right, that's good. Okay. All right, that's good. Time the cards. Dustin Hoffman. Tom Cruise. Are, are you a Tom Cruise fan, guys? Wendy. Oh, but, oh yeah. Yeah. Wendy picked Tom Hello. First movie. Oh, gone. Yeah, that's true. I've so. got a, I've got a little Rain Man in me. I got a little bit of you know if I like if I don't get something done by a certain time, I start going oh I'll judge yeah. Wapner. I oh, gotta get to. <laughs> and like, who didn't say like you know gotta get your underwear at Kmart? <laughs> Everybody said that from that movie. Yeah, it's true. It's true. a good pick. I had Very that on my good. list. Rain Man. All right, Rain Man. Hold on. All right, Jabba, you almost redeemed. No, we, I, I got. I got more. Oh, we're going to four. Yeah, why not? Rocky four. The power might go out. Rocky four. <laughs> <laughs> going Rocky IV, Ivan Drago. Rocky that like that in two thousand and something. I thought they drugged those out. How many Rockies were there? Oh, there's been a few. I think there's only ones. one Rocky, and it's Rocky three. Oh, really? You let the one with Mr. T? Of course. Wow, Clever Lane. You bet, okay. you man. Yeah. No, I think one Rocky. Really I think Rocky IV was in the the eighties. That was definitely in the eighties. Ivan Drago. Yeah. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Let's Google that. Can we Google that? We, we can, until the power goes out, we can do anything. When was Rocky IV released? Oh, I, I thought you were talking. You've confused about Google that. with your poor movie picks. <laughs> 1985. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Living in America. Yeah, James Brown. Yeah. Now. Nice. Oh, nice. Such a sad movie and a great movie. And then, yeah, that, that's all. Yeah, I Rocky fixes uh, the Cold War with punches. Yeah. And then finishing it off, I don't know if anybody said this, Ferris Bueller say off. It was on the list. It did yeah, come up was in the on chat. The it did come up in the chat. <laughs> what are you doing? Why not? I don't know who makes the rules here. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> who makes the rules. There are no <laughs> rules here. <laughs> the rules went out the window early on, right? <laughs> I think it's, uh, yeah, as soon as we started the show, the rules were gone for us. All right. Yeah. How do you like being this close to me? It's like hot, right? <laughs> it really is. In the beginning, I liked it because it was nice and I was embracing you and, and all that other stuff. But after a while, man, you really cramping my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you keep reaching for the mouse and I want to reach for the mouse and I'm sweating. Yeah. It, it, I don't it, think that has anything to do with the power going out. <laughs> <laughs> no. But he smells like hot sausage. And <laughs> It's just like I've a, met him. I know that. I know what he smells like. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, yeah, there they go again. Oh, <laughs> hey, it was a good run. 
I was very impressed. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I have to shout out just in case he's popped on here, Stephen Molina. Do you remember him? He came up to yes. you with a sign yes. that said that you were his friend that day. I just want him to know it's my bestie. I, I, I actually was DMing with him today in an unrelated matter. Uh, and uh, and by the way, Mr. Scamper's a big fan of hot sausage, as you wouldn't, as you would expect. I mean, I think we all love hot sausage, uh, not the Gemma variety, but mostly hot sausage, not named Gemma. Uh, I feel like we're carrying the program now. Great job by us. High five. Yeah, you know what are you gonna do? But anyway, Stephen Molina, he he is so funny. He he cracks me up. He'll send me little you know messages like, oh hey, you know my friend is Bob Harris today. I'm like, well he can be your friend, but he's not your bestie. <laughs> nope, nope. There's only one, and uh, everyone knows it. So there should be no uh, you, no Bob. backtracking on that. Stephen, he knows it. He 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 proposed the whole idea to me. He was uh, looking to have a little good fun. Um, Philip naturally dragged Gemmo into the Matrix. Of course, the Matrix, uh, that was in the 80s, was it? Was the Matrix in the 80s? I have to look now. I'm thinking, like, how is that not on my list if it was in the 80s? I feel like I don't think that was in the 80s. I had to be in the say 90s. 90s. Yeah, that's like 96, I want to say. I'm waiting for my 99. phone. 99. Oh my God. I'm waiting for my phone to ring. I'm thinking he's going to call any minute. I think they took the phones down this time along with the power <laughs> grid and the interweb at their house. Well, um, I'm really looking forward to Canton, and I'm going to get to meet some of these people that are in the chat. I am as well. Um, Who in the chat is going to Canton? I know Mr. Scampers uh, have plans. To I can't there. wait to meet Mr. Scampers. And I, I got a glimpse of him from Thanks something recently, either. from a live draft. So I, I know. Too. Oh, hey, it's Jemmo. The GM network is because he looks like Agent Smith. Hello, he well, what he says that. What are you thinking, buddy? The Bob show. What else we got here? Who else has got the films? What are you going to do? Okay, that sounds good. All right, we're, we're chit-chatting with everyone. Hurry back and then we'll say goodbye. Okay. All right, they're booting back up again. He's going to come back on for a proper farewell. But yeah, I know. Like, I believe uh, that sounds like a bold prediction for someone who can't keep their <laughs> power on for more than 30 seconds at a time. I knew something would happen with this show if he wasn't going to be at home. I'm like, something's going to go wrong. But I have to give a shout out to Brian because if Brian would have been here tonight, I wouldn't have been here tonight. So, oh, sorry that you couldn't come, Brian. JC will be at the expo. Who else is going to the expo? We're looking yeah. forward to seeing you all. I can't there. wait to meet JC. I'll be having a good time drafting on Saturday. And Tracy, drafts, Kelly. Uh, so much fun. So much fun. I, I really was, I was kind of uh, apprehensive about going to Canton just because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not an analyst. I'm just a fan, you know, I'm just a fan. That's um, what it's for though. Yeah, but That's I'm just like, I, I thought I would probably be out of my element, but. No, um, no absolutely 100%. You know, John not. McGlynn? Uh, yeah. Yeah, fact, he's the one. He he actually was a um, a co manager on a dynasty team with me this year. We just started it because I've never played dynasty before. So I kind of reached out to him because he was on Gemma's show and he had brought up the dynasty thing. And he's he uh, messaged me. He's like, "You have to go." He goes, "I guarantee you, you were going to have so much fun." So he kind of talked me into it. And my daughter's actually going as as well. She's not. She hates sports. She's like, get get a hotel. Well, she paid for it. It was my birthday present. Um, she's getting a hotel that has a pool and Wi-Fi, and she'll, we'll never see her. So, but I plan on having a great time. I can't wait to meet Every everyone. Time I met Gemma there last time. i uh, looking forward to meeting everyone who I have not yet met. I there. know. I'm so sad that he's not going to be there. And right now I'm about, I'm, I'm probably about an hour away from him right now. Well, it's amazing that you have power. <laughs> yeah. If, if I go out of power, it's something with Gemma. It's all his fault. What's the over under on the power staying on for you to try the outro? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say the under is like there's no way it happens. I'm not even sure they're making it back. And Wendy and I will be here he called yet. tomorrow morning saying, Where are they? Someone has to pedal faster on the. Uh, <laughs> Did someone, someone say bachelor, bachelor party. party? No, but that's a good one. That is a really good one. Dr. Oh, Tracy, shut up. You're a nobody. You're a, you're a rock star. Tracy jumped on and helped us. And a lot of the people in the chat did. 
uh, Tootsie Pops in here. Hey, Rachel. Um, you know, they all hopped mm -hmm. on the bandwagon to help the Battle of the Sexes get going. And I was, I'm was i involved with that with Michael. Man, how about and, um, Andy Barron's just coming with the vicious smack talk in the. <laughs> in that the that was so funny. Out of nowhere. You know what? I met Andy um, at the Chicago Live Draft, and it was him and uh, Jim Coventry, and we hung out all day, and it was fantastic. They were great. Uh, uh, I will tell you, Andy, you mentioned that he has uh, he has talked smack to me before. One of the best lines ever in the end of the Kings Classic. Somebody asked him to assess the teams, and he said he suggested I was going with the uh, highly unusual zero good player strategy. <laughs> He's funny. He is. He's a great guy. Hey, are oh, you guys Gemma. back? I think we're back. I'm outside smoking. If you guys, yeah, can. I can yeah. hear you. The yeah. power's on. I I think we're probably just going to end the show now without having any power outages. If I don't we think do, we're going to make it. I'm going to hold this on just long enough yeah, to go out again. Yeah, don't hold your breath over it. But Bob, thank you so much for coming on, sir. It's it's been a pleasure. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> next time you come on, we'll have full power. And I hope so too. I'm sorry that you won't be in a, at the expo. It was great meeting you there last year. Yeah, uh, man, it was a lot of fun. I'll definitely be there next year, but I've, I've got to watch the kids. The wife's going to Spain for a couple. For that okay. Day. All right. All right, so all right. She, well deserved for her. Well deserved for her. Wendy, great to get a little FaceTime with you. Look forward to seeing you in. I can't years. wait, bestie. And Phil. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <Yes>. Philip. <laughs> Good job, man. Bob. Uh, pleasure, man. Pleasure meeting you, sir, as well. Thank you all. Thanks, for everybody, in the chat. Y'all are yes. professionals. Thank you for holding our shit together. When yes, thank you. Apparently, my house is deteriorating. Are you in the basement? Is that like the kill room? What do you got going there, Gemma? <laughs> yeah, he's... I feel like this is like a Silence of the Lambs was in '91, dude. What are you we doing, got, man? We've got safe words here and everything. So he's gimping yeah. you down there. Canary. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you Thanks, so much. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Enjoy the expo. Thanks for all you do, Bob, Wendy. All thank right. you. Appreciate it. Bye, Wendy. All See right. Here's the part where I do the outro. Do an outro, right? Do outro. I don't think you can pull it off. I'm going to do one of those. So. And...